In this video, we're going to look at what quality means in the context of goods and services, how quality is managed through quality control and quality assurance, how having high quality goods and services can save you money, and how quality can give you a competitive advantage in business. At its core, quality is all about meeting or exceeding expectations. Quality can be measured in different ways in terms of reliability, durability, performance, features, and aesthetics. Quality looks different depending on whether we're talking about the quality of goods or the quality of services. When we're talking about the quality of goods, we're talking about the physical stuff you can touch and see. It's the smartphone with a crisp, clear display and a camera that takes stunning photos. It's the car that runs smoothly, doesn't break down often, and keeps you safe on the road. In essence, it's about the materials, workmanship, and design that makes a product of high quality. Now let's shift our focus to quality in services. This is all about the experience you have when you interact with a business. Whether it's dining at a restaurant, booking a hotel, or getting your hair styled. It's not something tangible. Instead, it's how well a service meets or exceeds your expectations. It's the friendly and efficient service at your favourite cafe, the punctuality and expertise of a plumber fixing your sink, or the comfort and cleanliness of a hotel room. But why does quality matter? Quality matters for several reasons. Firstly, it ensures that you, as a customer, get your money's worth. When you buy a high quality product, it lasts longer, performs better, and gives you greater satisfaction. Similarly, when you receive a high quality service, you feel valued and taken care of. Secondly, quality builds trust. When businesses consistently deliver quality, they earn your trust as a consumer. You know you can rely on them, which often leads to loyalty and repeat business. Lastly, quality is a competitive advantage for businesses. In a crowded marketplace, those that prioritize quality stand out. It's a way for them to differentiate themselves and attract more customers. So, now that we understand what quality is and why it's important, let's explore how businesses go about ensuring that their goods and services meet those high standards. They do this through two key approaches, quality control and quality assurance. Quality control is like your quality checkpoint. It's the meticulous process of inspecting, testing, and assessing products or services to make sure they meet specific standards. Imagine a chef in a restaurant taste testing every dish before it leaves the kitchen. That's quality control in action. Here's how quality control works. Businesses systematically examine their products or services, looking for defects, inconsistencies, or deviations from the desired quality standards. It's all about identifying and catching any issues before they reach the customer. In some cases, this involves testing. Testing is necessary to ensure the product or service performs as expected. For example, an electronics manufacturer might run rigorous tests on each device to ensure it functions flawlessly. Also, you often see mattress companies saying that their mattress has been tested to have a 10 year life. That is quality control and it's crucial for immediate defect detection and correction. It's like having a safety net to catch any issues before they impact the customer. Quality assurance on the other hand goes a step further. It's not just about catching defects, it's about preventing them from happening in the first place. Instead of tasting each dish as it's cooked, it's about ensuring that every ingredient, every recipe and every step in the cooking process is perfectly calibrated to produce consistently excellent dishes. Quality assurance includes process improvement. This is identifying areas for improvement in production or service delivery and making ongoing adjustments to enhance quality. It's about training and education, ensuring that employees are well trained and equipped to maintain high quality standards. There's also documentation, so keeping meticulous records of processes and procedures to track and control quality over time. And finally, the standards and guidelines. 
establishing clear quality standards and guidelines that everyone in the business follows to ensure the product stays at a high quality. Quality assurance is like building quality into the DNA of the business. It's about creating systems and processes that consistently lead to high quality outcomes. Quality control and quality assurance are the dynamic duo that businesses rely on to ensure their goods and services meet or exceed expectations. Quality control acts as a vigilant checkpoint, catching defects before they reach the customer. On the other hand, quality assurance is a proactive approach, embedding quality into every aspect of the business, from ingredients to processes. Together, they ensure that you, the consumer, get the quality you deserve while helping businesses build trust and maintain a competitive edge in the ever-evolving marketplace. So, how does a business control costs through quality management? Well, here's how. Fewer defects means less waste. When a business prioritises quality through both quality control and assurance, it drastically reduces the number of defects or errors in their products or services. This in turn means fewer resources are wasted on correcting mistakes. Imagine a car manufacturer catching and fixing issues before the vehicles hit the market. This means fewer recalls, less wasted time and money saved. The next benefit is optimised processes. Quality management often leads to more streamlined and efficient processes. Businesses continually assess and improve their operations to eliminate bottlenecks and enhance quality. These improvements translate into cost savings as processes become more efficient and less resource intensive. Finally, having higher quality products means longer product lifespans. High quality products typically last longer and require less frequent replacement or maintenance. This not only reduces the cost to consumers, but also reflects positively on the business's reputation, potentially attracting more customers. In essence, managing quality is a cost-saving strategy that can significantly impact a business's bottom line. But quality is not just about cost-controlling measures. It's also a potent tool for gaining a competitive edge. When businesses consistently deliver high quality products or services, it leads to customer satisfaction and loyalty. Satisfied customers are more likely to become loyal customers. They keep coming back for more, and importantly, they become advocates, spreading the word about their positive experiences. This word of mouth marketing is a powerful asset in today's connected world. Quality also elevates a brand's reputation. It's a badge of honour that distinguishes it from competitors. Over time, a reputation for quality becomes a potent marketing asset. Customers trust the business and trust is the foundation of long-term customer relationships. It's not just about selling products or services. It's about building a brand that customers love and trust. Finally, quality can also differentiate you in a crowded market. In a marketplace crowded with options, Businesses that prioritise quality stand out. Quality becomes a differentiator that sets them apart from competitors. It's a way for them to attract more customers and retain them, even in the face of fierce competition. So, all in all, managing quality isn't merely a cost-saving tactic. It's a strategic move that empowers businesses to control costs, build customer loyalty, and enhance their brand's reputation. It's a win-win for both businesses and consumers, creating a cycle of value and trust. So remember, in the ever-evolving business landscape, quality isn't just a choice, it's the key to long-term business success.